First responders have been busy as well today. They tell News on 6's Mackenzie Gladney they treated several people for some weather-related injuries. Mackenzie? Well, Lori, paramedics tell me cold weather calls aren't only for things like frostbite or hypothermia. They're responding to car crashes and slip and falls. When the temperature drops down, snow and ice related injuries go up. We understand that, you know, we, it's been you know, 10 months since we last had this sort of weather in Tulsa. Adam Palooka with IMSA says they responded to 32 car crashes, five times more than they were expecting. I also think that because there's not a large amount of snow, people think that the roads are actually better than they truly are because there is a, a thin coating of ice. IMSA transported at least four people from cold exposure and eight from car crashes to the hospital. Dr. Chad Phillips is an ER doctor at Ascension in St. John. He says days like today are busy. We see an increase in the number of car wrecks due to slipping on the road and then also a lot of slip and falls. So orthopedic injuries, wrist fractures, falling and bumping your head. Dr. Phillips says you can't underestimate just how cold and dangerous it is outside. I think something that's a little bit different about today is just how severely cold it is. And so uh, we have seen a few just cold related injuries and frostbite. First responders say the best thing to do is stay inside where it's safe, but they say they're ready to help if you need them. We're going to be there to respond to our community um, and that that's our mission. And we want to make sure that we're able to help those who need our assistance. And IMSA says take take it easy throughout the rest of the week, you know, stay bundled up and make sure when you're on those roads, you're really safe. Live in Tulsa, Mackenzie Gladney, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.